Now, I want to introduce a new series in the show. Each month, we'll take you around the lakes to hear from reporters about stories and issues they're covering, bite-sized news briefs about the lakes you love. We're calling it The Catch. And in this installment, we'll get updates on stories tied to Lake Michigan. In Interlochen, Michigan, Interlochen Public Radio has released a special season of their Points North podcast called Unnatural Selection. Dan Wanshura is IPR's program director and co-hosts Points North. In this series, we look at sort of the benefits and um, consequences of humans manipulating the natural world. When you look at humans, we impact the natural world like no other species, sometimes for the betterment, sometimes for the worse. So some of the things we talk about in unnatural selection in regards to the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan in particular, have to do with removing dams on a lot of rivers. It's been seen as a generally good thing to remove dams and restore rivers to their natural state. But we're encountering a new problem now because dams block certain invasive species from traveling up waterways. So that's a topic. We also deal with shoreline hardening and how the Great Lakes shoreline are constantly eroding. So even when we try to build things to stabilize our property, our land, it's, it's still a losing battle. And then the final thing that deals directly with Lake Michigan is the idea of a frankenfish. Lake trout has been on life support in Lake Michigan for many years, and the population is dependent on stocking from breeding efforts. So we look at this idea of if we have the lake trout genome, could that somehow be used to create a hardier species in Lake Michigan with the lake trout? Nothing is imminent with us creating this, this frankenfish, but because the uh, lake trout genome was, the reference genome was, was cracked recently, we wanted to take it one step further, sort of have that forward outlook and say, what if we could isolate, you know, why certain lake trout species do better than others and could you somehow create lake trout that had a better chance of surviving in Lake Michigan? Um, and it sort of begs that question of like, if you have the technology, does that mean you should do it? We cover a lot of ground in unnatural selection. And I would say what I hope people get from it, take from it is just the, uh, the role that we as humans play on the natural world and the impact that we have when we make decisions uh, regarding the management of natural resources. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.